Drag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even the sound of my voice on a podcast. Some... This is the way I talk, normal. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, good. All right, you're going. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm an adult, sir. And this is my podcast. I can start it however I want. Do the thing! <laughs> Hi, everybody! What's going on? Um, welcome to the Bunny Ears Podcast. Uh, I am your host. Uh, uh, I'm going to be Gary Coleman this week, I think. Yeah, I'm Gary Coleman. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, we have a very uh, special guest this week. Uh, it's Kevin Perjurer. From a defunct land. If you've if you've been a fan of this podcast, uh, it's been brought up uh, more than once by uh, by the hosts and also just guests as well. So uh, yeah, you know it's one of the reasons why I started doing this podcast. Is I wanted to live the dream, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and you know there's like you know things I like and things I admire, and it's like oh cool, like yeah, there's this defunct land thing, and you know normal people go oh that's really great. I go, that's really great. Let's get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, welcome. Welcome to the show. Say Thank hello. you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm super yeah. excited. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode. Welcome to my Lego room. I I love it. I'm, I'm disappointed you haven't built the roller coaster Lego one. Just got it. Just got it a couple days ago. We can knock it out in 25 minutes before the first break. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sure we could. Yes. <laughs> What's it, 10,000 pieces? Yeah, yeah. He will just silently like, <laughs> yeah. do like a, just, you know, just click, click, click. You'll just hear every once in a while. Can, can you ask me that? Yeah, can you that? just, yeah. Well, you see, we have a whole system. We have all our little cups and everything like that. So we oh, my sort, gosh. Like we had shot glasses. And oh, bowls. yeah. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're quite proficient. You know, we just did the, uh, the Simpsons house over there. Nice. And yeah, there's all the interiors and everything. It opens up. It's pretty dope. In, in, in a word, <laughs> dope. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Uh, yeah, welcome. So, uh, you're not from LA, are you? I'm not. Where are you from? I am from originally Kansas City. Oh, really? Yeah, I grew up in Kansas City with the wonderful amusement park, uh, Worlds of Fun. Oh, okay. There you um, go. <laughs> it is the worst theme park. <laughs> I, I, so, like, there's that there's that gap between amusement park and theme park, right? So yeah. you have a theme park, which is uh, a themed entertainment park where you know you have like stories and and beautiful buildings there's an amusement park which is like you know a rundown roller Just coaster a bunch of rides. place That's and then it. there's that in between where it's like they call themselves a theme park they do it but mm-hmm. they just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Worlds of Fun cared for a little bit. Then Cedar Fair bought them. And I don't know if you... Are you sponsored by Cedar Fair? No. Okay, good. Um, Not, no, <laughs> I don't know. Check out these dynamic ads later on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be... That's going to be... A th- <laughs> no, go on. Yikes. Go on. Uh, <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> Six Flags, a great adventure. Um, yeah, so uh, Worlds of Fun was like the only exposure I had. And I traveled out. I had family in California. So I go out to Disney. Land, and I would. It, it was like Disneyland was like another country to me because it was so different than what I was used to. I didn't even call it an amusement park or theme park. And then eventually, I went to Walt Disney World, and I was like, "Whoa, this is another world." Now, now you know what this like this. This is what it could. Yeah, be. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I picked up a book um, that had all these rides in it, these old extinct rides, and it just gave me the weirdest feeling, like. You know, that fear of missing out, like, I could have ridden something that was here before me, it but I was exist. stuck in Kansas City, <laughs> um, which I was on the Kansas side of Kansas City, so it was even worse. Um, uh-huh. But yeah, so that, I mean, I grew up in Kansas City, and then I was like, I'm getting out of here. Now I'm in Florida, and I'm living the... the, the where, where, are you living in Orlando? No, I'm oh. living outside of Orlando. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I call it the, the perfect distance, because it's go. like, uh, so far away, I can't just get there. Mm-hmm. But not close enough to where I can just go every day, gotcha. so I can get there if I need to, you know. So it's it's nice, but uh, but yeah, I'm from I'm from KC. KC, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, so uh, uh, so yeah, you kind of mentioned how you got into Defunctland. I mean, mm-hmm. like, uh, I mean, so I mean, how long have you actually been doing it? February 2017. That doesn't even sound like a real year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I was <laughs> like, say, like, 2017. I don't know. What is it? Uh, but yeah, so February 2017 was the first episode and it was on extraterrestrial alien encounter the wackiest weirdest scariest magic kingdom ride um and then you know after that i just kept doing some and so i've been doing it i don't know two well, years yeah, a little over two, two and a half, two, yeah. two and a half years yeah. almost, almost on the dot yeah, you're ahead of me on the math yeah, i never yeah. thought about that that's there a good go. question yeah yeah. Uh, yeah well six months ago was my half birthday okay so uh, that's how i can do the two and a half years yeah i get yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, um, 
So yeah, no, and it, it seemed like it really took off, like you know, like like pretty quickly. Like mm-hmm. like I said, it was all of a sudden just like I I been as soon as I found it, I started binge watching, and then I told my uh, old co-host about it, and he was like, oh yeah, no, I know about that. And then like <laughs> the next guest we had on said like, have you heard about this defunct land? And it went on and on and on, like and yeah, have like these professional wrestlers on, like I had like Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega on. <laughs> they were like, yeah, have you seen this defunct land? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Like, what the heck? You know, yeah, yeah. So it seems like it's really like taken off. You know, yeah. yeah. It's been it's been really great. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's all because of how people are just so nostalgic for these rides because it's different, you know, than movies. You know, people say all the time like you ruined my childhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, with they the, say that to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> but they but with theme parks <laughs> to move past that with theme parks I'm just um, with theme parks it's like you it's not it's you like with movies like you ruined my childhood by making another Star Wars but with theme parks it's like you literally bulldozed my yeah, childhood yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's gone it's I can't watch it again mm. I can never get on it mm-hmm. and so people have that really strong emotion and then of course I think the format helps a little bit because it's digestible hopefully yeah so. i think it very much is like yeah it's, it's informational and it's yeah. it's interesting and it's like yeah, I, yeah and i think yeah i think you nailed it where it kind of like tickles like there's something that, that inner child in you or whatever yeah. like yeah i mean and that's the thing is that like a lot of the rides that you cover uh, on defunct land is are like things that I, i'd actually never even heard of before mm-hmm. like it was kind of also getting exposed to like things that like yeah just when I'm like uh, what's the one with the uh the imagination thing what journey was, into imagination journey to imagination oh with dream finder and figment yes yes yeah i know you got you you, you waxed really <laughs> nostalgic about that like yeah. Yeah. oh my yeah i was why did, did i get the wistful tear in my eye yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> well you got me all wistful for a thing i had never really heard of before they like, killed yeah. my friend <laughs> exactly <laughs> they, they, they killed dream finder yeah well i didn't really realize that that character from south park was based off of, <laughs> off of which the- i didn't either and then i went back and watched it because i wasn't a huge south park person person um and because i just never watched it and then someone sent it to me they're like oh so this is where that comes from and i'm like that's hilarious yeah, yeah that's exactly. exactly where it comes yeah, from that, that was imagination my imagination land <laughs> yeah no yeah south park was my gateway <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh uh, and uh, um so yeah you know you said you used to actually go to like disneyland you used to go mm-hmm. to disneyland a good amount and yeah. you know like disney world i mean like what is your favorite what's your favorite of oh all of that's like, hard because it could be universal so do, studios it could be anything do i have to take off my like connoisseur hat and just yes. tell you what i enjoy yes exactly. oh no what, what, um, what tickles what tickles you what tickles me um hmm it could also be for nostalgic reasons too like yeah okay so i would say the most enjoyable park that i just i like going to and this is gonna, this is gonna be a total twist to anybody that watches the show is california adventure Really? Because it's so wacky and mm-hmm. weird. And, you know, as someone that really enjoys when things go wrong in Disney yes, or yeah. all that stuff, or, you <laughs> yeah. know, it's who's just someone this, who's made a job out of yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I try. Um, it's, <laughs> it's just a really fun park to walk through because mm-hmm. it's just such a, like, it's a series of bad decisions yes. that have then been, <laughs> like, removed and replaced with a series of slightly better but really low yeah. budget decisions. <laughs> and so as just, as just everything about my experience, and I also think there's some really beautiful parts parts of the park um yeah, yeah you know like like one sixteenth scale of the beauty of california but wh- whatever <laughs> but it's uh I, I, I just think it's so strange that they do that like yeah. Disney, where it's kind of like why would you go to california adventure when you're in california like that right. should be in japan yeah you know, where, exactly. it's like why would you go, go to a fake paris when you're like 45 minutes outside of <laughs> like, paris look at our yeah. vineyards yes like, exactly like, like, so, you know? yeah yeah, no, I've seen them. No, but I can see them right now. I can see them right, over right now, over actually. Like, yeah. <laughs> or the the national parks. <laughs> That's the almost the saddest thing because you know I I kind of you know teeter the line between I love it and and I just hate the idea of it. Yeah. Because theme parks are a real. I was talking to a friend the other day. Theme parks are just not a good idea. Like if you want to open an economically sustainable business practice, right. what's the worst idea you can think of? Um, but like, so for California, besides Adventure, opening a restaurant, I think. yeah, yeah, almost, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, so like a huge, but like, how many people? Like the moving parts that it takes. Right. To well, like at run least with stuff? the restaurant, you can get up and move. Yeah. And <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. And the, the, which is, I've seen, you know, we've seen everybody's seen happen a dozen times. It's like, well, where happened to that restaurant? Like the owner just booked it. Yeah, so like with, the, and it's like, well, we just made it a Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Um, or back in the day, even with car. Mm-hmm. when you know somebody like 
died on a ride. Yes, yeah, it's exactly. like, well, we're going to New Jersey yeah, now. Yeah, so. find a little, like a little girl's body in the hay. And they're like, yeah, oh, well, what, what, what do you know? The car needs are gone. <laughs> yeah, we're gone, yeah. <laughs> With theme parks, it's like, let's build this giant thing right mm-hmm. here and hope that the ocean let's, never let's, comes towards yeah, us. Yeah, let's gut a swamp. You know? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, and if the swamp doesn't like it, we fight back. Yeah, exactly. Which is so funny, because in Florida, uh, <laughs> there's so many sinkholes. Yes, right? <laughs> Under could the just, park. Just like Space Mountain could just, like, just yeah. get swallowed up by Earth at any moment. I just imagine when the park closes, they just sign a spotlight and a bunch of guys come in like hazmat suits and just shovel, like yeah. feed the monsters that are underground. Because uh, it's, it's you know, I mean, you know, Magic Kingdom's built because they were like, we're going to make... We're gonna make tunnels under the park. So this is here's here's your really mini history. So when Walt Disney, uh, he like presented his Epcot thing. You know that really famous. He's he's there. He's like Epcot, the future. <laughs> it's the future. And he said a bunch of crazy ideas. And then six days later, he walked across the street and died. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a little bit hyperbole, but that's about the time when it was like two weeks. Do you know what his final words were? Kurt Russell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if we ask Kurt Russell about Epcot, he would know everything. <laughs> he would know He's everything. like, Kurt He's Russell. He's the key to it all. He knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> If you went and asked Kurt Russell, he's like, finally, somebody asked. Somebody. Okay, so there's supposed to be a city. And oh, let's see what I can remember. I was supposed to get, come up with a big golf club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a giant golf club. I'd have to swing it like a baseball bat. I can't get that high. Um, but with uh, with Epcot, you know, he was like, uh, we're going to build. It's going to be, all the cars are going to be underground. And he just kept saying stuff. And by the, it was the 60s, right? So, so no one's going to be like, hey, Walt, what the hell are you talking about, man? And so he's just like, going to be tunnels underground. And everybody's going to be in that part. And then in that part, there's going to be industries and then he died and everyone's like do we have to make this he's like i already bought the land yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they kept trying to implement these little things that were like see he had this idea and one of the things was like the tunnels underground magic kingdom mm-hmm. and so but then they got to florida it's, no, you a, can't, it's, a, swamp. it's a swamp you can't dig <laughs> yeah. and they're like fine we'll big the we'll build the entire park up one level yeah. but we'll be damned if we don't get those get tunnels underground <laughs> yeah so and then they built them in epcot and they sunk yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but we were, uh, we were just there, me and the lady, like about a month ago. Oh really? Yeah, we we just did the whole Disney World thing for like okay, four so days you, and stuff. You know, okay, so you you're like a celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. So yeah, yeah. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't just like walk around and not expect yeah, anything no, we, to happen. Okay, no, we get the guides. Okay, yeah. Do, do, you, you, know, do you know about the? No, now, now I'm going to be interviewing you. Yeah. Who are the guides? How do I get a guide? So yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so yeah, you get like these special services and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And they're the ones who wear the um, the plaid vests, okay. and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, you can skip ahead on on any line that you want to. You should really? go, you should go in through the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've actually seen a lot of the guts. Of Disneyland mm-hmm. and Disney World and all that stuff, all all the pipes and like all the, you know again they, they'll tell you all kinds of like things like oh this this is where the person got decapitated on the uh, oh, on gosh. the Matterhorn you know like, yeah. oh, like, you can ask them anything I'm like where's Walt Disney's head they go right here <laughs> it's right here <laughs> it's right here <laughs> it's right here it's, yeah, on this, yeah. it's on this pedestal but yeah no you get to cut lines and all that kind of stuff like you know, when I was there uh, I ran into Josh Groban the Grobster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the Grobster. Yeah, gr- 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 me and the Grobster go yeah, way back. Me, me and the Grobs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I kept on bumping into him. Like, you know, we do like Animal Kingdom, and he was like, oh, there he is with his family. And then, like, we do Magic Kingdom, and like, there he is right there, like, watching the parade. Like, and again, like, I kept on running into the Grobs. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure nobody else knew, like, because you, they pop you up probably in the same. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we, you all have your own separate kind of mm-hmm. things, but it's it, it just like we kept on just lining up right. with each other a little bit. So when you're on those VIP tours and they're yeah. taking you around, you know, it, so I don't know what you like about the experience. Do you like seeing the pipes or are you like the pipes? Oh, are yeah, really sure. Good? Okay, so yeah. you like the pipes. And I'm a, I'm a smoker, so that's the only place you can smoke. <laughs> oh, really? It's in the back. There's, there's a nut. That is amazing. So there's one more place. It's, yeah, it's only in the back. With the, with that, it's, it's where it's, it, it, what do they call it? It's uh, off stage or whatever. Okay. Like, yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, so you can actually see yeah. Mickey with his, like, like his head off yeah. and things like or that. Or the there. friend with Mickey is what they call it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. The friend with <laughs> With Mickey, yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, that's weird because the character costumes. Because I'm always like, oh, like someone's like, I'm Ariel. I'm like, you're friends with Ariel. But then I'm like, in 1992, Disney messed up so bad. I'm like, for some reason, I like, I like have to, I uphold the illusion of the dumb part of it and then just destroy the part that they care about. Like, I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, but that's amazing that you get to like, you get to do that. Do you ever wish like, I just wish I could wait 90 minutes for Space Mountain? Absolutely not. Okay, well there you go. No, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you could do miss like. The experience like a um when you do um what is it the not it's not the tower of terror anymore the guardians of the galaxy like yeah one. yeah like when you walk through that i like, just did that this morning 
I was about to ask whether or not, like, yeah, whether or not you'd actually done Disneyland, like, yeah. again, uh, or did, like, like, during this trip, at least. Um, but yeah, no, I don't get to, like, see, like, the the mm-hmm. collector's experience. I mean, I guess right. we could if we wanted to, it's but... It's not all it's cracked up but, to do. Yeah, that. exactly. So, yeah, no, I'm going to... Actually, we're going to uh, um, Disneyland on Saturday, so in, like, two days. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, there's the D23 thing. There. And my, my lady, <laughs> she's uh, she she does Disney stuff, so... I oh, could, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm actually going to see Galaxy's Edge for the first time. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Did you, did you check it out? Yeah, I just got. I mean, I have done both. I did the one in Walt Disney World and the one in Disneyland. Oh, look at you! And they are. You know, it's a the business same. expense, isn't it? It's oh, a yeah. tax writer. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it is. It is. I mean, I have to talk about these things with authority on the podcast, which isn't that big a part of my business. But if um, yeah, but still, it's still a yeah, tax. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a tax write off. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the perk. The, the downside yeah. is at any point Disney can push a button, and my entire yeah, business your whole will be, or at least, way. or at least all the Disney stuff. Because I also do, you know, Universal and di- and like. Like Six Flags, which some of those are almost more interesting, and people kind of some like action pe- park and action, action park, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some people get upset a little bit because they're like, "Oh man, all you do is talk about Disney, even when you're not talking about Disney." And I'm like, "Yeah, but everyone is t- even like Universal Studios behind the scenes, they're talking about Disney. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. Six Flags, they're talking about. So, I mean, every park that isn't Disney was like some rich guy went to Disney and mm-hmm. he says, "I want a Disney in Texas, yeah, or I want a Disney in Kansas City," and then they just go back and they're like, "We built one, kind of, never mind." And then he yeah. le- then he dies. <laughs> yeah, he dies slowly on the <laughs> yeah, vine. Dies slowly, and then either Cedar Fair or Six Flags buys it, and then they just bulldoze it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it seems like Six Flags like buys like everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, it's everything. But to answer your question about galaxy's edge yes it's a it's awesome to look at okay it doesn't seem like there's a lot there yet <laughs> there's not i mean i could not make a 200 dollars lightsaber purchase a tax write-off that <laughs> i think that was the line that was the line um and so i didn't do it i gotta see it though you just, do they look cool yeah i mean they, they look well, like, like they, that's what they, I mean. they, like, they look at night they do during the i mean if they're lit up, but gotcha. you know they look like it looks like Star Wars Celebration, which I've never been to, but you know it's like the D twenty yeah, three for yeah, Star yeah. Wars. You know, everyone's like putting up their lightsabers, yeah, and it's clank, like clank, clank. it looks yeah. like that all the time. So if you go earlier in the day, <laughs> oh, or wow. it sounds like a Kafka esque nightmare. <laughs> yeah, <Jeez>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like earlier in the day if you go. No one has got the no one has the lightsabers yet. Yeah, yeah. But if you go later in the day, it's like you don't have a lightsaber on guard. And so it's and everyone is. You know, I want to challenge all the kids. Yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go get like a dual wielder and yeah. just like start swinging mm-hmm. that puppy. And you can't wear girls. You can't wear the robes. So they you know they they cut back a lot. Mm-hmm. And because um, well, yeah, they were trying to get it out by the summer. I think yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, well they're trying to. It's either they were, yeah, well, they were trying to get it out by the summer because that's when they said they would, and they just wanted to open it. And then, you know, the Rise of the Resistance, mm-hmm. which is going to be their signature attraction, still isn't open. Oh, see, that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe you can swing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk it, to somebody. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you get in. I'll get somebody with a plaid vest. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> They'll walk you through it because the ride vehicles don't work. At well, least that, that's all that's all we've been hearing. And, you know, yeah. the, it's like they can't get them to work. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it looks like a billion dollars. Like you yeah. could, it cost a billion dollars and you'll walk around and be Everybody like, looks at, yeah. it looks like someone spent a billion dollars on this. And but, so but, then, but the good kind of billion, I guess. That's good. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I mean, interesting. Uh, um, uh, get, get the translator app. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Because everything's an alien language and I think people oh. have more fun on their phones translating things. Oh, okay. So like if you see a trash can, it'll have some text on it and then you'll translate it and it'll say trash can. Yeah. And or, you're it'll like, say, or will it say th- <laughs> funny things also or like oh, silly probably ways not. of saying I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No smoking or farting or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> probably the, not. It's still Disney. They're, yeah. they're still they're still super safe. And that's where, with Galaxy's Edge, they did the... Uh, they, they, they tried to do the tattooing rustic-y kind of thing. Yeah, it, seems it was like. gray tattooing. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, all, they also had the voice actors. Like the, they, they didn't decide, like, okay, we're doing a gruff alien planet. Mm-hmm. We're going to get some weird-sounding people to yeah. do the voiceover. It's still like your Radio Disney. And yeah. so like <laughs> you go in the bathrooms. And I don't know if... I'm sure this was supposed to be playing in the bathrooms while I was going to the bathroom. <laughs> but there was like, welcome to Black Spire Outpost on Batu. And I'm like, what is going on? And I swear <laughs> is, it was is that, what they, is that what they call Dookie in the Star Wars universe? Black Spire? <laughs> 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 That's a Black Spire. <laughs> Flush. That's a Black Spire. Thanks, thanks for the Black Spire. <laughs> yeah, that's a Black Spire. Um, that's some blue milk. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it's like you couldn't have got some w- random person. You just had to 
get the because it sounds like I don't know if you, you've done the People Mover, right? The, uh, yeah, yeah mean, the one in yeah, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. And it's like the Transportation Transport Authority People Mover. And it's yeah, like, it's just that cheesy guy, and they're like, "Welcome to Black Spire Outpost." <laughs> and it's like, Ugh. so. But other than that, I mean, there's there's a few things around the land, but I can't wait uh, to see what you think of it. Yeah, me too. Are you a big Star Wars guy? I mean, kind of. That's that's, that's my response. I'm like, yeah. yeah, well, that's the thing. Is well, like I used to be. Right. That's the thing. Like, they they've lost me. Like they yeah. really have lost me. Like a lot. Like the last I don't know couple of decades. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's just confusing for me now more than anything because mm. before with like you know the the prequels it was like frustrating or you know it was a little confusing now there's just so much i just don't have the time yeah like yeah. i'm researching theme parks for you know 36 hours a, a day but <laughs> I, I don't have time to like watch a movie and then yeah. being like i don't get it and, and they're then, like they're, there's they're, a comic book oh yeah you didn't read the comic. exactly <laughs> you didn't yeah. read the comic and like oh this is not a part of the trilogy this is just a side story right, exactly. like, you know, yeah like yeah like you know oh how about that solo i swear like, yeah. <laughs> i thought free solo was like just them giving away the movie but uh, you're gonna no, be no. brought into one of these though right <laughs> you're gonna come <laughs> Come back for Star Wars? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we probably should take a break uh, right around now, right? Yeah. Okay. I, need, I need to pee anyway. <laughs> Just, uh, go take I Black Spire. Dog. I gotta look at the dog out, too. Yeah, I gotta drop a Black Spire. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Meditation Minute. I'm your guide, Louis Prada. Need a lift? Why don't you hop on into my car? Hope you like inner peace and chill vibes because that's where we're headed. I want you to start off by taking a nice big deep breath in along with me. Like this. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> it seems I've got a bit of a sniffle in my nose. A little bit of a wheeze, maybe. I guess it's those darn seasonal allergies at it again. Hold on one second, let me just take a little puff of my nasal spray and everything will be right as rain. All right, okay, let's try that again. Now, take a deep breath in along with me. Okay, 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 I think, I think, I think we're going backwards here. We're, we've regressed a little bit. Let me, oh boy, let me just. Okay, okay. All right, ready? Take a deep breath in along with me. Yeah. All right. I don't. I don't know what the. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Yeah. I don't. What is happening to my head? I think I'm gonna have to consult a uh, ear, nose, and throat guy, or I don't know, maybe somebody who fixes car horns or something. I'm not really sure what's happening, but I'm just, if I can't breathe, I can't meditate. So I hope this meditation has brought you the serenity you seek. My name is Louis Prada. This has been Meditation Minute. Namaste. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> oh, God. Just, go, just, just keep the mics hot, would you? <laughs> so we're back. All we're right. Back. We're back at Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Welcome to Black Spiral. Welcome to Black, Black Spiral. Welcome to Toy Story Land. <laughs> in Andy's backyard. Isn't yeah. it fun? That was actually fantastic. I hadn't, you liked it? Yeah, I hadn't been there uh, in D- to Disney World like since I was like maybe ten or something like that. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah. So, so uh, me and the lady, yeah, we went. We went. Dead of July, like just like the 95 degrees every day. And, and the air conditioned was... tunnels and vans they put you in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, my favorite part of like the, the Avatar ride was just waiting like in the hallway in the back okay. uh, where all the employees are because that air conditioning is so fucking good. Yeah. Oh, they, they haven't made. It's the newest I building can imagine. in like, the whole place. You know, so you yeah. got to do Flight of Passage? Yeah, yeah. What'd you thing. think? Uh, it was neat. I'm not an Avatar person neat. at all. See, I'm not an Avatar person. Blew my mind. See, I really liked it. It was like it was like a sword in Cal- you know, sword in USA or whatever, sword in around the world yeah, or whatever. It's like, it is. No, it's Pandoran, but it's Pandoran. Which I mean, yeah, I thought my, it was really, I thought it was really neat. Yeah, uh, the wait time thing, like you know, when they keep on scanning you, mm-hmm. like it took for freaking ever, <laughs> like you know, because they keep oh, on, they scan your body. Oh, and yeah. Then, like, you well, know, I don't know what I, I, I think because they're accommodating like hundreds of people at the yeah, same yeah. time. Yeah, There's, there's a. Uh, the, the because those two queue rooms is it one full go around is it one so like they have the two queue rooms so the first one it's the guy that's talking to you yeah. and stumbling over his yes. words yeah and okay so it's two. yeah yeah exactly there's a first guy who's talking to right. you, the scientist and then guy. it's the signori 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 
Sigourney, thank you, yeah. Weaver type. Yeah, the, 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 the standard, It's like, yeah. I'm, I'm not Sigourney Weaver, but... However... <laughs> however, <laughs> I, I know about Keystone Species. Yeah, and I, I, I used to be her apprentice, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. She, she wrote a book, called, and the best part of that... And they asked, so Joe Rody mm-hmm. is an Imagineer. Okay. And he, ha- he he's known for his earrings and his a love of culture. Um, and so he does, if you've ever seen something, you're like, wow, this is all kind of foreign. That, that, that actually sounded like some like a Playboy Playmate. <laughs> Just like, like, I like earrings <laughs> and culture. <laughs> and so, yeah, exactly. Um, and so you have, you have a... <laughs> He's like, when I'm recording the next Defunct Line episode, we need to just get you there. Yes. And so you just, ever, that sounds like this. And I'm like, oh, uh, done. I can't do it. Can't do it anymore. <laughs> can't do it. It's over. You're right. It does sound like it that. It does sound like that. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so Joe Rohde was, uh, is the guy that designed Animal Kingdom, and he designed Everest, and he designed um, the, the, the Everest ride, not the mountain itself. Um, you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I read about it. Uh, <laughs> and so, and he also de- designed Avatar. And so there's that point in the pre-show where they ask you, like, he's, they say, you know, we call, the Navi call them something, oh, they call them Ekron. So, like, the, the, the things you ride on, okay. the banshees. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the scientist woman uh, is like, they call the, the Navi call them Ekrons, but we call them banshees. And it's like, and we're going to call him Banshees for the rest of the time. Yeah, exactly. And someone asked Joe Rody, the guy that made it on Twitter, like, not like very culturally sensitive. Yeah, he's yeah. like, why did, why did, why did you do that? You like mentioned what the Navi called them, yeah. and you refused to call him that. And he's like, we had a lot of conversations about that. Yeah, and that was sure. it. And that was the whole That's response. All you got, all you That's got. all Disney let him get out before they're like, stop, just shut stop, up. Stop, <laughs> stop doing it. Uh, so yeah. Um, no, apparently the awesome. lines for that, like you know, because we were there in July, were like four hours or something like that. Apparently, yeah. I stood in one of those lines. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I went, I went during peak season. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, uh, but so, so you you liked it? Yeah. No, I, honestly, I really yeah. did enjoy the ride itself mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's. I'm not really. I, honestly, I don't like Avatar, and so like, yeah. having a whole Avatar land, I think, is like a little bit of overkill for me. It's made but me people love. were loving it. Yeah. Though. Like yeah. I mean. I made me like Avatar again because I haven't. I don't. I haven't watched it since two thousand nine. I was about to say rewatch it. Is it? Yeah, okay. it does no, not. It does no, not. Okay. Yeah, and and, don't, and just yeah, watch it. Watch it on a computer screen. You know, like yeah, yeah. When you were in the whole big old like yeah. eye thing, I'm sure it's amazing. It's beautiful. So, but we did the river ride one. Okay, did you do that? Like, you, yeah, like, of course. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah, I've it's done, like done all of them. Yes. I'm, I'm, you know, who am I talking to here? Yeah. Have you done Animation Academy at Animal <laughs> Kingdom? Because I have. Well, it was. I mean, it was kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Like, it was definitely like really kind of cool. But yeah. the thing, the, the the Navi at the end was yeah. so fucking creepy. The one that was like. Oh, the one that was in the, like, the weird animatronic, da, yeah, singing da, the song da, and like da, and, and, and had that kind of Mona Lisa's eyes yeah. thing, where it's like just looking at everybody directly in the eye yeah. the whole time and just <laughs> da, 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 like it's like oh jeez, like, yeah, like, it like yeah, that was the scariest ride. Like, yeah. for me. like well, <laughs> so I mean, I love it because it's this long, windy <laughs> boat ride to get to that one scene, yeah. and then they immediately get you, you off know, of get, that. Get out of here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they were like, you have. They probably were like, you have a hundred million dollars to make whatever you want. Mm-hmm. And it's like we spent ninety five million dollars <laughs> yes. on this robot lady, yeah. <laughs> and we spent well, we're, five we're, million uh, for black lights. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, and it takes place in the basement of the bigger ride. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. even know that. So the they, same building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they built it like at the edge of the park, and I'm sure like if they went a few more meters one way, it's a sinkhole, and then the whole thing would have yeah, fallen. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but you know, to make good use of the space, you get when you're up there flying on your Ekron Banshee. Right below you is Ana. So that's creepy too. It's pretty creepy <laughs> yeah. to think. You know? Right under me is yeah. that robot. It's like, well, if I only knew. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Not not a huge fan of like, the Avatar Land, but at the yeah. same time, I could see like people were really enjoying it. And there were people were walking around with their little Navi ears on. And stuff okay, well, like I that. don't know. Like, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're doing either. I just I enjoy the ride and then I leave. Yeah. And I, they also have a few good food items, which is one thing about Galaxy's Edge that's a little disappointing. Oh, really? It's all the food. Because they do this, they do this thing where they're like, we're going to make alien food, and you're going to like it. Okay. And you, I don't. It's like, is it, do they make the chicken green or something? They, that's kind of the, that's the, that, that's the MO, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, we're going to make this thing you know, but we're going to make it different enough that you go, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. I, guess, I guess it is alien. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's purple now. <laughs> yeah, it's purple now. <laughs> I don't eat purple things. <laughs> well, I told this, this story a while back, but on the, when I went to Galaxy's Edge for the first time in, at Hollywood Studios, I go in and I order the pork. 
which they it's not called pork, and they were they were training for their immersion because yeah. it's all about immersion, oh, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're course. all gonna. So you ask them like, "Where are you from?" And they're like, "I'm from Naboo." And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Naboo. <laughs> it's a me from Naboo. <laughs> it's me, Tony from Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> You look familiar. Uh, <laughs> you look familiar. <laughs> Tony from Naboo. <laughs> Tony, Tony. <laughs> We, we had that thing back in oh, Coruscant. Yeah. My family's here, man. <laughs> we have never been to Coruscant. <laughs> um, but it's kind of that immersion. And so I was like, hey, can I get some pork? And they're like, do you mean the braised shark fin? And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and, and, then they, and then they give me the wrong thing. They give me the, the, the chicken. And so I bring it back to them, and, I'm, and they're, they're still training. We're in cast previews at this point, so gotcha. they're still like, yeah. they're, they're on it. Um, and so I was like, uh, can, I, I think this is chicken. I said, I think, because I don't know, because you made it look weird, and I'm not sure anymore. Yeah. And I was like, I think this is chicken. And they're like, oh, do you mean Yip Tip? What did you order? I'm like, the pork. And they're like, do you mean the shark brace? <laughs> and I'm like, just stop. Just and please, get, come on. What did I just eat? Help, help me out here. <laughs> it what tasted is- like peas. <laughs> There were no peas in I'm it. I'm allergic to shark. <laughs> I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to brave. You know, I, when I when I was on uh when I was on back on Batu or not Batu, what is the what's the? There's so many desert planets. Whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tatooine. Tatooine. Uh, Jakku. There's a new Jakku, one. Jakku. Yeah. Oh yeah. Apparently, there's a new <laughs> there's one a new coming one. out too. It's hard to keep track of. I know. But yeah. Um, Full circle. But so you, so you, <laughs> but you like Toy Story Land. Loved it. Loved it. I I liked how like every aspect of it was as if like you were a toy, uh-huh. and you actually see the big footprints in the ground. Yeah, that, that was Andy's footprints. Like uh-huh. you know, all that, like that kind of immersion. I actually really dug. Plus the um, the Slinky Dog rides, awesome. It is. It's like it's very smooth. Yeah, and it's just fun. Yeah. Um. The the funny my funny anecdote about. Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge because they're right next to each other. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure when you were, I mean, how long ago? Did you, no, see, I was I was there like around July 4th, so it wasn't open yet. Okay, but you, when you went on Slinky Dog, could you oh, see you could in, see, you could see, yeah, it. you yes, could see into yes. it. So the whole the joke is they want on the entrance from Toy Story Land to Galaxy's Edge, they want them to make like an old 70s Star Wars toy box. That'd be really cute. And so in the canon of the ride, uh, in the canon of the land. Galaxy's Edge is just an extension of <laughs> Andy's Story. backyard. <laughs> that would and, actually be really neat. And Andy built Galaxy. Yeah. So, but yeah, no. I mean, Toy Story Land was like a really fun and simple addition. I don't think it held over the fans very well. Oh, really? Because well, we we love to complain um, because it's fun. Yeah, um, exactly. Because yeah, it's fun to complain ne- about fun things. Yeah, ne- negativity. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun to complain. Negativity towards kids material is, is yeah, like is cute. kind of my whole it's, brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the whole thing. Um, but uh, but yeah. So let's see. What else did you do? Did you do uh, Epcot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I know. Listen, wait, wait, I know. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you should do the you should do the intro monorail for Epcot. Yeah. Welcome to Epcot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. God. Welcome. So anyway. <laughs> But uh, uh, it was nice to get it was nice to get some booze, you know. Yeah, that was yeah, it was that was nice. Uh, uh, Mac you know. drinks around the world. Yes, yeah. Uh, we didn't do all the drinks around the world, but okay. you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, we we did do a whole like you know circuit mm-hmm. around like kind of everything. We're like, okay, we're done. Actually, no, we did. Oh, it was the worst ride. I don't know. It was because I was there with uh, um, my girlfriend and my brother and his wife, and for some reason his wife wanted to go on the the botany ride. There was the one about like the, the, about the <laughs> living with the land. Yes, yes, that's the one. It's, the botany ride. It's the botany. Ride. Yeah, it is. It is. It's exactly. It's all that. about the botany yeah. of, of Epcot, and they're like, and there's like, here's like the here's the catfish, like in the thing, and like, yeah, yeah. it's they just, just like, yeah, it was, that ride had a uh, hour long wait last week because they replaced the video, and uh, everybody lost their minds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God, that was that was agonizing. It was like it's because it's like fifteen minutes too. If you don't like that, there's an hour long tour through the ride where you have to walk. I know. I can see them. <laughs> you can see. Them. I can see them. It's called like it's a, like behind the seeds. Wow, that's <laughs> so Imagineer. Just yeah. so you're hired. <laughs> there, there's someone that does all the puns. They're like it's souvenirs, but we spelled ears e a r s. Oh, jeez, <laughs> you're you're Ba-boom. hired. Boom, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the uh, or souvenirs and e a r s, which is actually the same thing. So I don't know how you pull that off. But uh, yeah, I think they yeah. put a dash maybe or something like that. <laughs> but my favorite them. part of that ride is I was just waving at all the botanists. <laughs> Like, it's like, hello. Is that Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like me. Hi. It's Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> the, 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 how are your seeds? <laughs> hide, hide your seeds. How, how are your seeds doing? Oh, how are your seeds? Hide your seeds. <laughs> hide, hide, your, hide your seeds. Macaulay Culkin, hide your seeds. <laughs> That's how I enter every party in high school. <laughs> 
Macaulay Culkin just got to the party. We better hide our seeds. Hide your seeds. <laughs> <laughs> to go black spire in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> But the, uh, the that living with the lands is a hilarious ride because it's all creepy. Yeah, because, because it's, I've never it's it's like a greenhouse, but it's like a it's like an evil villain made it, and yes. then they're like welcoming you to the greenhouse. But like an evil villain from like the '60s, yeah. or something like that. Like it was really high tech. Like, they're like here at Epcot, we have yeah. plants. Yeah, exactly. And we've manipulated them. Yes, exactly. It's like, you know, and everything is made here. Yeah. Looking at. You. These plants aren't supposed to be in Florida. Yeah. See these shrimp? Someone's going to eat them tomorrow. Like, you know, like all right. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, we provide all the food for the, you know, yeah, the restaurants here and stuff. Did you ride Spaceship Earth? Spaceship Earth. Which one was that one? The Spaceship Earth is the golf ball. Oh, which one? What, what happens on that one? I think you go through. It's like a 15 minute history of communication. No. No. We decided not to do that one. Why? Because yeah, we did a Nemo instead. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We did uh, Nemo. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was, was, I'm there in a group. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, did that, and what? Uh, there was. Isn't there the the the, the three something the, the the Donald Duck River Ride thing? <laughs> yeah, the three caballeros. Yeah, three caballeros. Um, it, uh, it's not El Rio de Tempo Tiempo anymore. What is it now? It's uh, the it's, Aztec or something like that. Yeah, or something like that. What is the ride? It's it's the it's the grand something adventure or something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get some. Yeah. Grand Fiesta tour. Oh, okay. tour tour. That's another thing, and this is completely unrelated. Right. And I don't know why I'm just saying everything Go. unrelated. Go for it. Um, from this, but uh, <laughs> you know, I'm from the Midwest, and we say tours mm-hmm. like tours, mm-hmm. and most people say it tours, tours, which is apparently how it's pronounced. Yeah, tours. I, say, I say tour, and so, um, and so you know, it took me until last year to realize that Star Tours tours rhymes. With Star Wars. Star, Star Tours. Tours. Oh, okay. There and I was go. like, Star Tours? Mm-hmm. Tours? That doesn't make any sense. Do you miss the old Star Tours? <laughs> Tours? I don't... It's That's <laughs> hard. Yes, I do because it was just so weird and yeah. like... It's kind of like what they're doing with Star Wars now. Because mm-hmm. back then, they could have put C-3PO in there, no problem. Yeah. But they're like, no, we're going to create our own character. It's going to be its own, its own yeah. adventure. Yeah. And everyone's like, nah, put C-3PO in there. And then they're like, they didn't learn the lesson, apparently. Because they're like, we're going to make Galaxy's Edge. And we're not going to have any of the characters you recognize besides Rey and Chewbacca and Kylo. Um, <laughs> and uh, But not, no, nothing like Han Solo or nothing. But I mean, I liked it. What, what did you think? I mean, you like the new one? I, 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 I kind of miss the old one. You know, yeah. I miss the Paul Rubens robots. Mm-hmm. You know, I miss that kind of stuff. He's in the cantina. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think he's, I heard that. He's DJ Rex. <laughs> nice. He's and, he, and every once in a while he it breaks seems like down. He like a step down. I don't know. From pilot to DJ? Yeah. Is like going well, down? In, he was, in... it, was, it was his first flight. Okay, true. So he probably he, got fired. He's still getting used to his program. <laughs> he got fired and became a DJ afterward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the story. And I know you're making a joke, but they decided that you're not allowed to come up with the answer to them so, yourself. And they came up with one for you. And it's that like he accidentally crashed into Batu and then... As a way to get by, to, decided to DJ. Decided okay, to DJ. Yeah, yeah, Every once in a while, story. he uh, breaks down and goes back into a Star Tour tours programming. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And so he'll be like, "Oh, this," and he'll like uh, he'll do the Paul Rubin, and he does the whole oh, wow. the, the whole spiel, and then he'll be like, "Whoa, what just happened?" Anyway, back to the tunes. <laughs> so yeah, it is weird. But. Oh no, but yeah, I, I, at least I can appreciate that. Yeah. Though. I mean, the new one. Yeah. I mean, you know, I like how how it's different. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you know virtually every time because it's like kind of each time it's like kind of there's like six different kind of things and they show right. two different like two different scenarios mm-hmm. like you know but it's like you know I, I hate keep on like like i went on it like twice in the last like year mm-hmm. and i think both times i got that salt planet from the last movie um oh the, yeah you know, the, the, the last yeah. jedi thing or yeah, something salt like that. yeah it's like great like it's like i don't i don't i, I don't want to see the prequel stuff i don't want to go to mustafar you know mm-hmm. what i mean like i, I want to yeah. go to, i want to go to hoth yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it's nostalgic because th- other than it was just really good, it's just so simple mm-hmm. for me at least. Because I mean, like I was like, I know Hoth, I know tattooing. It's like mm-hmm. sand, snow, yep. and trees. Endor, yep. I know them. Boom, there you go. And then now There's it's your like, trilogy. Yeah, yeah, right. And uh, now it's like salt, and that's cool. But I'm just confused. And it's yeah. like, uh, but I mean, it's not. Here's oh Naboo. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Na- Naboo. And Tony. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's Tony. It's Tony from Naboo. <laughs> Do you remember on Coruscant? <laughs> remember that one time? <laughs> remember that one time we were on? We, we were showing wieners on Coruscant. Yeah, we went to we went to Crate. I think that's the salt planet's name, Crate oh, or something. G- goodness, yeah. See, I, it's kind of like now it's going in one ear out the other, and it might be me getting older when it comes to the Star Wars stuff. Looking at, but yeah, I mean, I, I just it's losing me a little bit. Yeah, I, I think you got to dedicate yourself now. 
If you're gonna be a Star Wars fan, you gotta be a Star Wars fan. You gotta read everything. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but the uh... yeah, no, I'm, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read anymore. I'm yeah. an adult. <laughs> yeah, I'm an adult. I, I don't. I just every day get to my computer and research actually, theme parks. I actually just made a, a a Star Wars like mini like thing over there. <laughs> it's uh, here. I'll bring it over. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Gonna narrate what you're doing. <laughs> He's right. now bringing it over. So it's Anakin. Okay. And there's the there's the. Uh, there's the emperor there. Okay, is that his bare skin? Yep. Oh wow. It's, 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 he's all burned up, and he's like, and he's like, Durr. oh nice. <laughs> Where is Pad Bay? I'm sorry, <laughs> but in your, in your, in your anger, you killed her. You killed her. No. <laughs> Drop him down to his Lego knees. Does he go down to his <laughs> knees in the movie? No, he just stands. No, he no, no, rips right, everything. Right, he goes one. <laughs> rip two. two and then and you had Red Letter Media on. Yes. And I love them. Oh, yeah. No, me too. <laughs> so I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. So put, I, put that, it that's together. ingrained in my brain now. Yeah. Thanks to them. So there you go. You know, you know, I gotta... So I did that. I did that in one sitting. Can you believe it? <laughs> it looks it looks great. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, that's my uh, that's my Star Wars. Like that's the, the most into Star Wars I've been in the last like couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I mean that's dedication. What can I say? What's your favorite park? Well, that's going back to theme park. Ooh, yeah. Favorite um, park? Hmm. Like uh, oh, I th- probably just I, I like the classic Magic Kingdom. I think that was okay. the one we I had like probably the best time on. Mm-hmm. Um, but the I, my favorite ride was uh, honestly it was probably there was Everest. Mm-hmm. And there was also uh, went on that um, that Aerosmith ride. Yeah, yeah, like that was that was actually like dope. I did yeah. that more than once. Like I was yeah. like, yeah. especially if you get walk that way, um, yeah. oh, walk yeah. this way oh, yeah. as the as the song. Yeah, yeah. It, the songs change. Yeah, I can barely hear it. Okay, because you know, yeah, because yeah, I'm the whole time I'm going oh, G force. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I flying through a donut? There's yeah. literally a pink donut. You fly. There, I mean, it's a, that's that's a great ride. I mean, there's a few. Every park, they're trying to have, like, we need one great coaster. Yeah, and smart. Um, and smart. Yeah, and because in Hollywood Studios, you got Rock and Roller Coaster. Mm-hmm. You have Everest and, and Animal Kingdom. They're putting Tron in Magic Kingdom. Ooh, which, really? Have you seen the footage oh, of that? Oh, yes. I, uh, I, I saw that during, like, the construction. Yeah. Like, you can see it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. going to be their coaster. And, I mean, Space Mountain's cool. Um, Space Mountain's still cool. Yeah, because it's like... It, it, it's gonna fall off any day now. I know <laughs> it's, it's it seems rickety as shit because yeah. I, I went on both like sides like and, mm-hmm. the, and it was the last rides we went on like it was like almost, right. I kept on wanting to go to Space Mountain and like for some reason like you know the rest of the group like let's go on Little Mermaid I'm like oh god <laughs> but it's right there I can see it it's, it's a mountain like, you know like let's go let's go let's come go. on <laughs> so, so when, I'm, like, when we go on a, a, on Saturday to Disneyland mm-hmm. my lady was like. Fine, we're gonna do Space Mountain, even though we're not gonna be anywhere near there. Like I was like, you know, you don't know it to me. We we did both rails and stuff. You know, yeah, uh, but I heard it's actually uh, uh, Space Mountain is the scariest when they turn all the lights on. Yes, because you can see, you can actually see how the, close your the, head is. To you, everything. you start to understand the whole keep your hands and feet inside <laughs> yes. the ride real quickly. <laughs> yes, because it's just it's relentless. Yeah, and just a twisting. Like yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't look like it should. Anyone should be on that. Thing. Yeah, and they brag about it all the time. They're like, you know, this is the oldest steel coaster in Florida, and we're like, we know. Yeah. Do you want to change I can, it? I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, there's that because there's that one part where you go up, like because it's it's going pretty slow, but then it'll whip you, and mm-hmm. so it whips you up. And there's there one there's one part, and it's a mirror track, so it happens both times where it'll throw you up, and the the cars come off the track. Oh Jesus! And it, I mean, it's it's still within the within the grasp within of the, the safety limit. limits. It's in the, within the safety <laughs> limits, but because it's going up on on the new coasters, because new coasters are all about uh, airtime. Mm-hmm. So they do those hills where it's like I'm flying, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's probably the point of that. But mm-hmm. it's so old that it's just like <laughs> down, <laughs> down, <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. <laughs> Have you ever gone over a speed bump backwards? Well, why don't you ride Space <laughs> Mountain? <laughs> No, but still enjoyed it. I mean, it's still a proper coaster. I mean, I remember going back, like, you know, Mm -hmm. way back in the day. Like, they didn't really have any coasters. And, like, I don't think it was until California Adventure where they finally had a coaster that did a loop. Yeah, yeah. I I don't... Which is now the Incredibles ride, which is actually excellent. Yeah, I mean, where... (laughs) Jack-Jack! I wrote it more than once. It was great. Yeah, we wrote it this morning. And it was also the uh, the Cars ride, too. That's a great ride. That one's really cool with that that racing thing. That's amazing. And the whole area is just so detailed. Yeah. It's... Oh, I was looking at that this morning. We ate at Flo's, which... Whew, Flo's is a is a very it is it's like an American diner. It's like it's mm-hmm. it coast, sounds like that. They're yeah. like they're, it really is American diner food. Um, but the uh, but we were just sitting there. We we're eating breakfast. and We we're just looking at the rocks. Mm-hmm. It's just like this is amazing. 
Mm-hmm. It's it's almost like the real desert, but here, <laughs> and I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. In air conditions. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Or like with Grizzly Peak, you know, it's yeah. like, man, I'm so glad I don't never have to visit a national park again. All right, you guys want to go to Carsland? <laughs> yeah, <now?"> exactly. <laughs> glad I never have to go there again. <clears throat> make it, yeah, make life easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> you got a wine cellar. They got, they got everything. Yeah, they got, they got everything there. <laughs> Yeah, Marvel. When we were there in uh, March, um, they actually had like a food and wine festival. Oh like, yeah, in, in California. Oh, Adventure. in California Adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was neat. It was actually like yeah, it was got, got some got some like pork belly tacos and oh, like, yeah. yeah, and got, I got some like Pinot Grigio or something oh, like that. Gosh. I was like, yeah, look at that. I mean, look at me, Mom. I'm at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> at Ep- I'm, I'm drinking booze at have Disney. You, have you ever been at Epcot's food and wine festival? I'm not. No. Oh my gosh, it is relentless because it is just (laughs) everywhere you go because it's like they try to get every country in the world to mm-hmm. like represented, and so because it's funny because it's like very European, the World Showcase. Yeah. But then they'll have like, and right here is like you know a small African country. Yeah. Um, and no, because I love actually Epcot. It's just Africa. Like it's <laughs> it's not like oh South Africa or like you know Zimbabwe. Right. Yeah. It's like no, just Africa. There's there you go. we, we had, Africa is the, not a country. Yeah, there's Germany. There's England, Africa. There's yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Well, some people are like, well, they have Animal Kingdom. And I'm like, oh, you should not, oh, you should not, you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, whenever someone says that, I'm like, I want you to listen to what you just said. Yeah, yeah. And, and just take digest, a time. That yeah, digest that. Digest that. Just really chew on it. Yeah, because there is an African section of uh, Animal Kingdom, but it's, yeah, it's still treated but, as yeah. its own thing. And also, come on. Come on. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the Food and Wine Festival, I don't know how it is in California Adventure, but it is just. It's it's like you know finger food, mm-hmm. but it is like everything you can think of, and it, I mean it's really good, and it's used basically because Epcot is as you laughed earlier is nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. There's to nothing do, there except for the three caballeros. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you saw the the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster building, right? Yes, yes. That thing's gigantic. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and I, it's probably never gonna work, but I can't wait to ride it. Yeah, exactly. Give it give it about another three years. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I need to be. Yeah, I need to become. Uh, like famous enough to get a VIP tour <laughs> or figure out how to make that work with the IRS. Actually, I don't even know how much they are, but get, get one. So I don't have to wait in that line. From, from what I know that you can get certain kind of services like that. If you are willing to pay for it, if you're a non-famous, you can yeah, get those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you have to do a little digging and research. It's not something that they advertise. Yeah. Uh, and it's pricey, but not like incredibly pricey. Right. right. It, it, Cause it's, it's one, it's like one tour guide per group of 10 people. Right. So if you have 11 people, you need two tour guides, but if you know, you know, like that kind of thing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, you know, right? Yeah. No, that, I mean, the, that that kind of thing. I, and I've and I've heard people talk about it, and it's like this. It, you know, in my circle, it's like this weird myth that only exists like in mm-hmm. the in the Club Thirty Three crowd. And yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I want, have you ever been to Club Thirty Three? No, I have not. No. I went last night. Really? Yeah. Look at you. I, uh, yeah. Look at me. How was I'm it? I'm non-famous. I snuck in. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was working the door. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, I dress as Mickey. Yeah. No, I was. I did Ocean's Eleven. I pretended to be a waiter. And yeah, nice. like, mm-hmm. Um, no, but it was like a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, and then we got to go, and it was it was cool. Yeah. Um, it was a. Uh, it was very just above my speed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was okay. like it was odd to have in Disneyland. It felt like it would be in like a it'd be like an exclusive like island like in a valley because like it's it's a level of wealth that I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah. can only be accessible to me from like a, a thing of a thing of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it was it was like really cool to say that you did it. And I think the one thing where I was like. I don't. I want. I, they won't do this because you know you. I, I expect to be able to make ridiculous demands mm-hmm. and just have them happen. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to watch Phantasmic. And then you know Phantasmic. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yes. Right across the street from New Orleans Square is Phantasmic. And I was. But there's trees in the way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how big of a fit do I have to throw for them to yeah, knock down a few branches? Just a few branches. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, "Where's your membership card?" I'm like, "I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. How, how dare you? <laughs> do you know? Do you know who my last name is? <laughs> Not Disney, but no, still. It's not Disney. It's not Disney. It's, it's, not, it's not anything close. But get, fine, but I'll leave. Still. I'll leave. But yeah. Because no, seriously, I, I hit my head. I, what's my name? But the, but I was really lucky to go. And the, it's interesting in Club 33, there's like Club 33, and then there's a Club 33 within Club 33 oh my goodness. where only the members are allowed to go. Because you you, like, you see people that have gone probably before that you're like, you definitely don't have a membership. Yeah. And it's just like a, a friend of a friend of a friend. 
but there's like this un- own little hallway and I'm like, great. Now I got to figure out how to get in that hallway yeah. so, just so I can see the whole thing. So I have to become, I'm just thinking I got, I got in there. Now I got to become famous enough for like two months to get a VIP tour mm-hmm. or figure out the enough people to where we can split it. Mm-hmm. Like in a, I can't even get an escape room together. I'm not going to get, a, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not going to get a VIP, t- you know, I was like, let's go to an escape room. That's like $30 a person. That's kind of my thing. So I, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I want to see everything, but that's so, so you're going to be in, what was I talking about? The Guardians of the Galaxy show building. Did you uh, get to go backstage there? No, no, not yet. Not yet. I okay. mean, like, you can kind of, you can kind of see a little bit of it and they'll kind of yeah. like, they'll tell you like when you're walking in all the guts, like a b- backstage and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, they probably they'll, are just they'll, so more loose, so much more loose with information. With you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, like, the, the, they're talking about um, how they're going to build like a Marvel land and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like uh, it, uh, pretty much kind of almost behind uh, in Disneyland, at least kind of behind mm-hmm. where the, um, where California Adventure is and stuff mm-hmm. like that, kind of where the Guardians like uh, ride is, because right. that's already kind of in the back corner. Yeah. Like they're already moving all, all that kind of stuff out. Because like you actually get to see where they grow all the flowers and stuff like yeah. that. You know the botanists, the hide your seeds, <laughs> <laughs> hide your seeds. Yeah, I'm gonna pollinate all you. Um, but um, but uh, yeah, you see they're, they're moving all this kind of stuff around mm-hmm. and yeah, like they're gonna but they're gonna build like a Marvel land, you know, yeah. which yeah. I'm more excited about than a, than a Star Wars land. Yeah, I mean they have we the, some of the schematics. I think that's the name. Um, schematics released. Mm-hmm. And there's like a Spider-Man ride, which is funny. Which is funny with the news that yeah. just came out. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, an Ant-Man microbrewery. That's, that makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, right. And uh, I think a Doctor Strange stage show or something. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> With like lasers. Lasers, and, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's, I love when they do those kind of characters mm-hmm. because it's never they're like look it's benedict cumberbatch and it's just like it's some just... like poor kid that goes to chapman university trying to <laughs> yeah. trying to make rent and he's, trying to, and he's just, just trying to yeah, just we're trying to make i it was a drama major i gotta do something yeah, with yeah. it you know? and he's like i'm uh I, yeah i'm dr strange yeah, exactly uh, this is how i talk i think yeah uh, <laughs> it sounds like i'm trying to violently choke down a british accent um. yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be really fun. Yeah, I mean, are there any like because you brought up stage shows? Because I I used to hate those. Like you yeah. know, even the stunt spectaculars. Like I never really liked. Yeah. Did you ever like them? No, never. Like, See, <laughs> I I mean, I find them fascinating that they yeah. exist, and they're so temporary that those are the things that are the ones that get pulled really quickly when something's going wrong. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, um, you know all that Johnny Depp. Uh, drama was happening oh, yeah, yeah. where it was you know he was this this and that and all um and uh they had a jack sparrow stage show and everyone, like just pulled it it was I gone know. i just, I love, just put it back up I like love, it was like as the news changed throughout the day it would be like throwing back up you there, know what johnny you know, depp you should be ashamed of yourself 40 <laughs> cast members lost their job <laughs> it was like that's like, why you should be ashamed of yourself <laughs> yeah it's like yeah johnny depp yeah, you know you know like him the guy who played jack sparrow and his understudy both lost their jobs because of you. <laughs> For like two hours. Yeah, then, yeah. Then, then everyone... Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta get... We, we can't not have Jack Sparrow up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so those stage shows are so bizarre, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're yeah. just... They're, the stunt spectaculars and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Like the, I remember there's the Indiana Jones one. Yeah, I mean, can, yeah. Uh, just I, the, they, they, they plant people in the audience. Mm-hmm. I would just want to demand... I was talking about... I don't know what I was saying the other day. I was, I was uh, Like a month ago, we, I was at Hollywood Studios. And I was thinking I was walking through there and we were like, do you want to go to the Indiana Jones stunt show? I was like, only if I demand to be the person I know is a plant. Yeah. Like try to get the audience on your side. Like, all right, we need a, I, it's me, me, me right now. Because you know that they're the ones that are going to do those crazy like cartwheels and everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's a plant. <laughs> but I like put me in those dangerous situations right and now. And then just like, yeah, try to do a cartwheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try, to, try to get the audience on my side. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys think I should do it? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, yeah. Get around you. Like, <laughs> All the spikes coming up. <laughs> but yeah, those are, those always border on cheesy. It's it's like the voice thing. I think with yeah. the rides, like with Everest and Rock and Roller Coaster, it's just about really good storytelling, really exciting storytelling. Thrilling, but also, yeah. like Yeah. Really- and it's, it's a, it's expensive, yeah. But uh, yeah, I always thought they were like those are really pricey things to put on, and yeah. like I mean, like, they're mostly for kids, which is like funny to say yeah. because the whole thing is nothing's for kids. Like, it's yeah, all for me. It's all it's all for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, like you know, because you don't really see a lot of adults like going to like. The, the, the stage shows the yeah. whatever it's like Sleeping Beauty or whatever the you know whatever I think there's a Beauty and the Beast one or something I don't well, know well with the uh, the best one and I it, I haven't done an episode on it I did a podcast episode on it a while back but uh, 
But if you want to waste 30 minutes of your life, go look up on YouTube, Tarzan Rocks. Okay. It is a, it was like a stage show with Tarzan back in 99, Mm -hmm. 2000. And it was at Animal Kingdom. And it was the weirdest thing. Because it wasn't just telling the story of Tarzan. That was actually probably their fourth priority. (laughs) The first priority was it to be a rock show. <laughs> and so they had like a Phil Collins guy. I was just about to say Phil Collins' yeah. name. <laughs> and so it was like it's like these there's these, all these mo- like these roller skating monkeys, <laughs> and, and they're like all doing tricks. And then like this curtain just drops, and Phil Collins esque guy oh, God. is back there. He's like, put your faith in what you most <laughs> believe in. Oh my God! And then I kid you not, the third it's like a thirty minute show. It takes fifteen minutes for Tarzan to show up. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. So. There's a good waste of your time. But yeah, stage shows are crazy. They're ridiculous. <laughs> uh, here, we're going to take another break for, for our dynamic ads. So uh, yeah, either you're going to hear an ad or you won't. So we'll be back. And we're back. So uh, welcome back to NPR. Thank you. Yes. No, 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 all right, we're back. We're back. We stretched our legs. NPR. NPR. Yeah, we, we we talked about how I'm a Disney princess now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because of the Fox merger. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel gorgeous. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Look at look at me now. Yeah, I did it. You're gonna. They're Living gonna have the to. Dream. You're gonna have to. Whenever they do, you know, they did that Wreck It Ralph two princess scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, have you seen? Have <laughs> no, I've not, I've not okay. seen it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you haven't seen everything ever. Yeah, um, yeah pretty much. <laughs> uh, they, I just watched the Funk Land. Really, like, I, li- I, li- I live on YouTube you, now. Yeah, you. yeah. Um, well, there's that scene with all the Disney princesses just hanging out and chilling. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be one of them on like your own animated oh, yeah. version of you, <laughs> just in my pajamas with a cigarette. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, hey, what's up, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> I made it. I so, got some advice for you. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good enough. <laughs> just just the, the sassy realist princess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, pri- <laughs> that prince is charming. He's, he's no good. He's no good. I've heard things. I, I've been to parties. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. He kisses while they're sleeping. 1986. You won't believe it. Uh, so uh, so uh, we've been talking a lot about Disney, but mm-hmm. uh, we were about to talk about Universal uh, like during the break, and we're like, yeah, save it for the podcast. Yeah. So, uh, um, so yes, uh, I've actually not been to Universal in a while. When I was a kid, I actually kind of used to like it more than Disney. Like, yeah. it was a little bit, because Disney was a little bit more kitty and a little right. more like that. Like, you know, it's like, no, I want King Kong. You know, mm-hmm. I want that that kind of stuff. It had, had more kind of like rides and yeah. things like that. You know, yeah. But I haven't been in years. Oh, wow. So it's I know a lot new different. Stuff. Yeah, As I know. you know, if you've ever watched the series. <laughs> yeah, yes. I've been um, there since 91. So, okay. Yeah. Um, Whoa! Okay, I know. I remember earthquake the ride. That's earthquake, you know. That, yeah. yeah, that's that's that what, video did really well for. I some know. Reason. No, I, I clicked on it right away. I'm like, oh, geez, I remember this one because I, I used to love that ride. It's one of those where I think because you know I make I also do a t- TV videos on canceled te- television shows. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's a lot of that kind of content where it's not just because I think the normal there's like the 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 buzz tube level of clickbait where it's like. Mm. Uh, you do you remember Sesame Street? Yeah, exactly. But there's also this different where it's like kind of the same thing, but it's like you don't remember this, but if I show it to you, you will. Yeah, and it's like that weird, and so it just like pulls memories from people's brains. I guess Earthquake, like it was a trigger for people. It's a trigger. Yeah. So, but yeah, so Universal's changed, as you know. Yeah, because they have all the Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Now, right? Do you like Harry Potter? No. No. I've seen every movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just sat there frowning for Honest, eight movies. Honestly, it was, I, I had a I had a lady that loved it, loved it. So okay. I like I saw like the first like four or five when we were together. We broke up. Like, well, I'm a completionist. Okay, yeah, I, was like, so, I was like, I was trying to do the math. I was like, how many? No, years? No, 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 believe me, it was a long time. And I was just sitting there, just like yeah. After a while, kind of just like great, like sitting around eating Cheetos and right. Right, just like. Like ruining my life, watch having to watch like nine, like the last like four parts of this nine part series. Like, hey, it was quite an investment. Is this boy gonna die yet? Yeah, God, geez, somebody killed this kid. <laughs> they killed him and he came back. God damn it! <laughs> You're cheering when he died. <laughs> like, like, yes, 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 yes. finally. <laughs> We're uh, done. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> oh, the, oh, this is what it, this is the ending I've been waiting for. This, I guessed this from the beginning, <laughs> from the very first movie. I was like, oh, they're gonna kill this kid. <laughs> <laughs> They did a fake out in the first five minutes yeah. where he like lived for some reason. Yeah. They're going to get him. They're going to get him. He's going to get him eventually. Uh, um, so yes, yeah, so they have the Harry Potter and I have friends who like go to it like 
all the time. Like they're huge Harry Potter fans yeah. and love them some butterbeer and they wear their scarves and all that stuff. You know? Objectively, butterbeer is delicious. Is it? All right. It's incredible. Um, Disney tried to do their own, and this is when people were like, you're talking about Universal, don't talk about Disney, but it's because they're all competing. When Disney tried to make their own, and they called it with Thu's Brew. Foo's Brew. From, yeah, <laughs> with Foo's Brew from Beauty and the Beast, you know, the, oh, the little okay. short guy that likes Gaston. And it's apple cider and it's awful. Butterbeer, delicious. Really? Because it's just, it's butterscotch. Okay, I was going to ask what it is. <laughs> it's the just, slogan. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, butter it's, beer. Butter, it's butterscotch. It's butterscotch and cream soda. You <laughs> yeah. like it? And it's delicious. Oh, and they have this marshmallow cream. Mm. Anyways, the Ryan <laughs> itself, the one in Hollywood, is okay. I, I haven't been. I've seen this. I've seen... I've been to the Universal has everything. The Universal Orlando. Yeah, I was going to say because yeah. the one because the one here it's the same with Disneyland. It's like it's a fraction of the size. Yeah. So it's like only so much they can do. Looking. Yeah. At. Well, Universal Orlando is the one there. It is gorgeous mm-hmm. to actually walk around and see everything. And they just opened the new Hagrid's Motorbike Creature Adventure Ride Magical Creatures. I don't. know. It's, it's a really long uh, no. I would name. love if that was the name of the whole thing. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, they just actually, fit, fit that on a T shirt. It goes all the way around. Someone had a stroke <laughs> while texting the sign maker. <laughs> We don't make mistakes. We're going with it. <laughs> That's what we meant the whole time. Hagrid's magical creature motorbike ride, magical creature ride. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so, but you know, that one's apparently really cool. I haven't ridden it yet. It's been a horrible opening process. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, you know. What's whenever, been going on? It's just it's not just working. working. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been really but nobody bad. nobody died. Nobody's gotten injured. Nobody's dead. And it's, no one will because it's too slow. I mean, it's, it's uh, safe. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a thin line between too slow and and, say, and, and and just safe, um, but so it's it's a cool ride because on one side everyone it's like a motorbike, so with a little scooter car. Okay. So it's like uh, you know the you've got a big big boy in the big car, mm-hmm. and then you got a little boy in the little car, mm-hmm. and they're in different heights. And this is speculation. I'm probably wrong, but I'm guessing they they didn't account for that enough in the engineering because we've heard little rumors like the ride cars aren't doing so hot. And I'm like, well, maybe is it because and half weight distribution? <laughs> yeah, it's like yes. half of the car is is on a, is higher than the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, the but, center uh, of gravity is all wonky. <laughs> right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I guess the animatronics and just everything and every and there's seven launches or five launches or something ridiculous like that. So like you know like uh, in Credit Coaster. They like you stop you, and mm-hmm. it's like then they launch you. Yeah, yeah, they do that five times. Oh, jeez! And so if one of those breaks, they're they have to stop all the cars because if not, it's just gonna go. Yeah, But it looks like a really cool ride. Um, and also it's Orlando, mm-hmm. so it's raining constantly. Yeah, and they have to shut down outdoor coasters. Yeah, which. Seems like a flaw in cho- choosing Orlando. Yeah, the, uh, again, it's like a place that it, like, it has alligators yeah. and mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, no one else would allow Disney to build his own city. Yeah, and exactly. And that's what started it all. Well, and, I think I think wouldn't he just quietly like buy up uh, yeah, dorm- yeah. dummy corporations all yeah. that all that area Which, in Orlando? I mean, yeah, he just would. Yeah, exactly, exactly how you described it. it in, and then after, because if you know they said I'm Disney, I'm making Disney World, they'd mm-hmm. be like, yeah, you can have my land for a mm-hmm. billion dollars. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's just swamp land, and nobody that owned the yeah. land lived there. Um, but the the most important part, <laughs> yeah, so important. I, I don't microphone. I started, I started like started <laughs> drifting. What, 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 uh, did I start drifting? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do you want to talk so, about? So yeah, it was great. <laughs> It it's a Hagrid's now. magical rotorbike creature. Is my little face <laughs> weird? <laughs> Is my eye droopy? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, you bind up all that swamp land. Oh, we bind up all that swamp land. And, uh, and then he's, but another key factor was he needed a government messed up enough to allow a man to just build a city. Yeah. With I mean, its own rules. I mean, essentially, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, that whole city revolves around Disney, yeah. at least especially in the beginning. It has its own sheriff's department, mm-hmm. or yeah. the, it has its own police department. Oh, it has its own landfills. Yeah. So it has Everything. its own fire department. Every, like, its own laundry. It's yes. a heap. Heap. I'm sure it's a heap. It's, it's a heap. It's a, a laundry heap. heap. They just throw it all up there. <laughs> yeah, just a heap. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Tell? Get it on up there. <laughs> well, I was actually surprised at uh, um, how, like, there's actually not a lot of mosquitoes, like, at Disney World. It yeah. like, didn't get bit or anything mm-hmm. like that. And, um... I found out that they keep all the water running. It's always moving, so they, mm-hmm. they, they can't. The mosquitoes can't lay eggs, and they spray down the park with garlic. It's this yes. garlic water. Look in the air. And it, it, did it, you watch a video on this? I don't know. No, you, I didn't. No, no I read it. about. There's it. a great video. Oh, really? Yeah, it's on. It's a. It's our friend Rob. He did a fantastic video. If you like 
Disney, mm-hmm. or if, even if you just are curious about how everything works, go watch a Rob Plays videos because he does. It's kind of like what I do, but they're like short five minute digestible little things where he's like, "Why doesn't Disney have mosquitoes?" or "Why does Disney oh, cool. water taste bad?" Oh, cool! There you go. <laughs> you know what I did as soon as I learned that? Spray down my property with garlic. Really? Has I got it the, I got the same stuff. It freaking works. <laughs> I swear, like it works. Your your place smells like garlic for about twenty minutes. Oh my gosh! But it actually works. And look, yeah, my my lady, she hates mosquitoes, and so boom, I, I took care of that problem in a jiffy. Thank you, Disney. <laughs> Thanks, Disney. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I use the Walt Disney Company's patent mosquito killing <laughs> <Exactly>. software. <laughs> <laughs> came with ears and everything. Yeah, came with- <laughs> uh, you mentioned uh, uh, earlier because I've noticed that you've actually kind of not moved away from uh, just doing like rides and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But it's like yeah, like you just had the uh, multi part uh, Jim Henson. Uh, mm-hmm. retrospective which was freaking awesome okay. well thank you so much yeah that was really really cool because you know I mean that hits me right in my sweet spot you know mm-hmm. yeah I'm a, I'm, a ch- I'm a child of the 80s kind of thing yeah. so you know yeah that was really cool like if you like continue going to continue to do something like that or retrospectives of people that are kind of in that same mold I guess yeah um, so Jim Henson is like a special one yeah right because he fits the bill besides the infidelity he was pretty straight <laughs> unlaced um, and the uh, so it was you know you can kind of like honor him in that way, you and so it's kind of like finding the right person I think mm-hmm. um, and f- especially with Jim Henson it worked really well because it was like six parts of each one of his a- TV shows yeah so each episode you could jump in and say well I just care about Fraggle Rock yeah and then I'll tell you about Fraggle Rock and you can jump out um, or I th- you know you can get more out of it if you watch the full thing but I think uh, with season three of Defunct Land which um because you know recently I've just been doing little mini sods mm-hmm. and soon I'm going to be doing on a bigger one and it's going to be kind of on Walt Disney but in a very different vein there's not going to be a big funeral scene like there was yeah, the, yeah. Um, that, that tear jerky <laughs> yeah ex- the um so yeah, it's gonna be. I, I do want to. Don't to bring up the Kurt Russell thing. Yeah, the just, Kurt Russell. Yes, yes. <laughs> just move on. Yeah, just, just, yeah. What did that mean? What did you? What did it mean? What did you? <laughs> what, did you what the hell did you mean? <laughs> but I mean, that's funny because that's how Walt Disney operated for the last like forty years of his life. Everyone would be like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> do you mean? And then he'd, th- he'd throw a cigarette at him, and they'd be like, "I'm just <laughs> okay. gonna guess." Zippity doo I don't know. Chase. <laughs> It's a, it's a movie. It's a, it's a, they're, they're, they're not slaves, but they're on a farm. And there's a rabbit, and we're going to yeah, make... no, just do the whole zippity do that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Somebody quick, write a song. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I want to do more stuff like that, because I think I can still do the retrospectives within kind of the bigger picture stuff. Um, can I recommend someone? Yeah, absolutely. Gallagher. Remember the, the hammer smashing yeah. comedian? Yeah. <laughs> you should do a retrospective on him. Every, he's everything he's done. I loved him when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he now? <laughs> what happened to him? Is, is, so, uh, what happened? You know, is, is he is he alive? Yeah, he's still kicking. Okay. It. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to find out live <laughs> on this podcast yeah. that Gallagher was dead. I mean, I know he was in like a Progressive or Geico commercial the other <laughs> yeah. year or something. I don't know. I guess it was on the tip of my brain. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. Just, just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this idea out maybe, there, and if you don't do it, four. Yeah. Just gonna just yeah. <laughs> so. It's a, it's a it's a YouTube series on defunct theme park rides until season four <laughs> when it does a sharp turn into Gallagher and for some reason it's better. Every episode is about Gallagher somehow. <laughs> Here's a picture of Gallagher on a ride. Right, it's, but it's, it's not until the end <laughs> yeah. when it is. Yeah, but this is it's Gallagher. It's, it's, it's been, you've been Gallagher all along. Yeah, yeah. that's that's when I pull off the mask and, it, and then I smash, smash a water, it. smash a water. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I don't know how Gallagher sounds. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he sounds like surprise. <laughs> all right, cool. So, all right, you're, you're welcome for that one. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. Have, thank you. You can, you can have that I'll one. send the that royalty check. The next one you have to pay for, though. It's the royalty check. <laughs> yeah. I'm how gonna, long does it take you to make an episode? Oh my gosh, um, a while. Yeah, because I mean, they're they're like you know they what range from everywhere from like 10, 14 minutes to about. Like 25, 30. Yeah. Minutes. I mean, mm-hmm. it, uh, the, so the Jim Henson series is a good example of the, the, the pipeline, I guess, because it was, uh, each episode of that had been in pr- production for about six months. Oh, geez. So we started, I think, actually, no, about a year. Yeah. 10 months. Um, so we started in August of last year. So it's mm-hmm. been a year since we said we're doing this. Gotcha. And then we started writing, and it was mainly writing. Um, production itself, so like writing an episode and actually making it really tight, it could take two days of mm-hmm. just full attention mm-hmm. and like that's 12 hours a day yeah yeah or it takes um you know maybe two weeks because mm-hmm. sometimes you know you're 
I do a lot of the research within the newspaper archives. And sometimes it's just like you're just hitting your head against the wall. Yeah. Um, you find out really fast that newspapers are super lazy. Yeah, and they keep on reprinting someone else's Yeah, article. exactly. Yeah, so you're Which, reading the same thing over and over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But they're all with different headlines, and so you're just pounding your head. Um, but then production on the episode itself, like the narration, that's really quick. And then I have an audio editor uh, that does a really good job, and he gives it right back to me. And then we, uh, we get into... Editing and editing, I can usually do if I sit down and I'm in the right state of mind, um, which is never. Um, but if I re- <laughs> if I'm up against a deadline, mm-hmm. um, then it'll be like uh, two minutes an hour, mm-hmm. and then probably in, in every hour I can get a minute done. So on a um, and that's without polishing. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. on a 35 minute episode like the Jim Henson mm-hmm. ending, um, it was like 35 hours, and mm-hmm. then having to go back and watch it. And you know, my stuff is is a little different than the normal YouTube thing. Um, and I mean, it's similar to, I guess, some other movie reviewers, but it's it's so, you know, I can never just cut to me. Mm-hmm. There's yeah, never yeah. a point where I can do that. Um, and so I'm always finding reference images, which yeah. that's another hard part. Yeah, like so. finding just all that archival footage yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. And it's all in, I mean... It sounds know. like a lot, it's a lot of research, it seems like. Oh, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah that's it's, what it seems like about 80, 90% of the bulk yeah. of it is, practically. It's mainly research and a little bit of critical thinking every now and then when it comes to kind of the end of the script, mainly. When mm-hmm. you're like... Well, what you're is structuring the, it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, what is this... The structure, especially. And then every episode kind of tries to end with, like, what does this mean? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it just doesn't mean anything. Sometimes it's like, it was a carousel and it broke down. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah, all those Kevin. kids hurt themselves <laughs> in New Jersey that time. Like, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then other times it's like, well, this ride did, you know, really mean something. Or this... This, yeah. this park really did mean something to like you know Astro Land. You, you, yeah, you, you want to put yeah. like a nice bow on it. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah Astro World. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Like Astro World was like a park that like they demolished it. And it was like Houston loved that park, yeah. and so it's like yeah, that means something. So that gives yourself a really nice ending. But yeah, that kind of thing. You know, it's but it is. You're right. It's mainly research. Yeah. It's just pounding the pavement, looking through old eight millimeter videos. Oh, uh, geez. Yeah. Just uh, even even if they're not labeled like Disney Vacation or mm-hmm. or you know Universal Vacation, it's like. Orlando, 1991, 8mm. You're like, all right, let's put it on. Well, and like, where, where are you finding all this stuff? Is this like at the library? I mean, where are you finding it? So, I mean, it's YouTube. A lot of the, really? a lot of people upload 8mm to YouTube. A lot of 8mm is uploaded on archive.org. Okay. Um, because a lot of people grab these, um, just they'll go to, a lot, a lot of people's hobbies actually is going to garage sales and buying up 8mm footage, mm-hmm. and then they'll put it on these websites, and, and um, which is super helpful. And, and do they charge you for it, or is this public domain stuff, like or that kind of thing? Um, they, I, or is I, it like a flat fee? <laughs> no, it's it, with that kind of stuff, if you just grab it from a garage sale and put it up, it's it's uh, fair, it's not fair use to do that, but I'm taking it and using it in fair use. Gotcha. Because um, those people did not I- anticipate or hope to make a profit off of their eight millimeter footage. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, sometimes every once in a while, like with music, a lot of the times I've learned, it's just better not to bother. Cause I would love, yeah. and in the older episodes and I really miss it, but I would able to be able to use the ride instrumental mm-hmm. on the background. But you know, after a while I was like, uh, YouTube is going to get me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you either get demonetized, or they're just going to pull the whole thing all together. Absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah. They don't, and they won't even tell you. They don't even tell you the rules. Yeah. And they don't <laughs> tell you why. They actually just fix it a little bit. But yeah, it's just like one of those things where it's with music, it's like I'm paying for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally going to buy the song well, so I can. It's one less thing for you to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it's, I can. Luckily, there's a whole library of things that sound like this. So it's like, <laughs> I need something to sound like Star Wars. It's like, dun 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 It's like, perfect. <laughs> yeah, we get around it sometimes because I'll just sing it. Can I just like, yeah. you know, I'll just sing the Happy Days theme or something like that. You know, it's like, there you go. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it. <laughs> you can do all the, like, the acapella version just yeah, yourself. Yes, that's exactly, yeah. La- 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 Laverne and Shirley. Slightly off key. Oh, like <laughs> off key. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just enough, just enough. I can get it by, you know. Yeah, but I do it myself, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. DIY. I, oh yeah, yeah. No, I get a couple glasses of wine in me. I'll, I'll sing anything. <laughs> that's how they got the Rock to do Moana. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a true thing. I, think, I don't think I'm making that up. Um, looks like we should wrap up here. I should let you go. Uh, okay. You know, um, gonna go to any more theme parks while you're out here? I'll be at Disneyland the next five days. Seriously? Is that, is yeah. that what you're doing here? Yeah. Is, is this a vacay? Are you doing any work stuff? Or are you um, doing research, obviously? Yeah, I'm doing research. Yeah. What? Do you work for the IRS? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go to D, whatever, D23. D23. I'll be at D23. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so if I... Uh, 
you know, I'll be on I'll be on Space Mountain at like minute ninety five of waiting. Yeah. And then I'll, they'll be like, Hold on, we gotta pull this car oh, and, then, and then I'll see. Is that Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. And you'll just be like, Yep, yeah, one so, more time. And honestly what I do is I do one of two things. I when when we first pull off, I do the wave thing, like like to the people that are in line kind of thing. It's like, hello, like you know, but kind of but like happy. Like not yeah. like like fuck you. It's like hello, yeah. like this is great. Like you know, and then when I come back, uh especially if there's a kids like waiting in, like for my stall kind of mm-hmm. thing, I start crying. Like, ah, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> and then I walk off. And my girlfriend's like holding me up. Like, and, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, fantastic. It's a pretty good bit, actually. Yeah. I, I'm proud of myself. I do it like every time. It's, it works. <laughs> here's a here's a fun bit. Um, and this might be a good wrap up <laughs> because I know that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, uh, I don't envy your job, by the way. <laughs> with, great job. Well, no, I mean, well, no, I know it's a great job, but with me right now in the microphone, I'm I deathly aware that I'm, you're just like you're just like watching me like shout and then whisper. Um, but the uh, but if you ever want to have a really great time, get a group of people, mm-hmm. sit on the front row of Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. Does this work at Disneyland too? No, know. it doesn't. Okay, know. if at Magic Kingdom or any really ride like this, if you know where the photo spot is, mm-hmm. say it's on the left and you're coming towards it, everyone in the front row or front two rows needs to immediately turn to the right and point. Mm-hmm. Because we have a great picture where we did that on Pirates of the Caribbean and we ruined all of these families' photos <laughs> With your arms. because everyone, we were like, look, and everyone behind us looked, what's over there? And, they, <laughs> and so we have 16 back of the heads. <laughs> And it was, I was like, yeah, that's perfect. That's pretty good. <laughs> or, of course, when you're on Pirates of the Caribbean, just say, that's really Johnny Depp. He's here. Johnny. And then people people are dumb. And they'll be yeah. like, oh, well, like, this is really oh, that's, Johnny. Yeah. yeah, no. I Sometimes I pretend to be asleep on those photo ones. <laughs> I, I do, yeah. and, and I do a, a point at myself. Yeah, just, oh, like, yeah. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, like a, you, that's a thing, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I started doing that on the rides. Yeah. And I made a, a lewd gesture on one, and it got blurred out. I don't, you know, they, they, got, they blurred it, but they gave it to you? Yeah, yeah. That's it, great. It, well, yeah, it's one of those things where they, they actually pixelate it. I think it, there's like an algorithm that automatically does it. And it's yeah. Like, yeah. And it was like, yeah, it was or actually... Or there's an intern losing their mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Macaulay Culkin again. Oh, jeez. He's doing the He's doing the finger, he's doing that finger thing, you know? Yeah. Hide <laughs> 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 your seats. Culkin's here. Hide your seats. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, you want to plug, you know, like everything. This, yeah. this is the part where we plug things. A good launching pad is youtube.com slash defunct land. Mm-hmm. That's where you're going to find the series. And if you like it and eventually, you know, care what I think or my opinions, then go on Twitter. But you just start on YouTube. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we got a lot of cool stuff. And uh, the YouTube is, uh, it's a, I don't think I mentioned this, but it's like mini documentaries. Um, if you've never seen it and no idea who I am. Um, yeah, so, probably so, should, we probably should have said that at the beginning. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> um, but, you know, if, if you if you like it, you know, there's something for everybody. I try to go decade to decade, so I think you'll find something. So go check out a video. And, yeah, thanks so much for having me on. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do my outros okay. thing. Um, yes, uh, uh, don't forget to go to bunnyis.com. Um, uh, that's where we do a lot of comedy and stuff. It's hilarious. Uh, also, this is the Bunny Is podcast. Uh, also, visit me on Twitter. I'm uh, at Incredible Kulk, uh at the, the Twitters. And on Instagram, I am Kulkamania. And uh, don't forget to call us. Uh, leave us a voicemail because uh, we play them sometimes at the end. The number is 845-393-4629. That's 845-EASY-E-HOAX because we all know it was fake. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks again, Kevin, for coming by. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your uh, time. We're always getting voicemails. You dial 845 Easy E, hoax. I said it's 845 Easy E, hoax. It might sound dumb, but it's not a joke. It's 845 Easy E, hoax. That's 845 393 4629. Motherfucking hoax. Voice bears. We're always getting voice bears. Talk two dicks in the morning. I talk two dicks at night. I talk two dicks in the afternoon. It makes me feel alright. I talk two dicks in time of peace. Two in time of war. I suck two dicks before I suck two dicks, and then I suck two more. Suck two dicks. Hey, Mac. It's, uh, it's Mac. Uh, just calling, um, to, uh, 
All right, I forgot what I was calling. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll, I'll call back later. All right. Hi, Mac. It's uh, Genevieve and Annabelle Kane. You know, we work for you. We were just calling to see, like, if we could get a raise. Uh, I know I haven't written as many articles this month, but my comment still is, like, really high. And it's really yeah, cool. I'm trying to start a new magazine subscription, so it would be great if we could have a raise. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Mac, it's it's Mac again. I, I remembered why I was calling you. Uh, I want to remind you that I think you left your curling iron on in the bathroom, so um, you might want to go check that out. All right. Uh, hopefully uh, the house is burned down. Love you. Bye. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. Oh my god.